Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. A lot of you guys have been asking for a watch that can hold music. You like to get out there and exercise. You want to be able to listen to tunes, but you're kind of frustrated with these music players that are on the watches, but they're not really music players. They control the music on your phone. So you got your phone shoved in your pocket. It kind of defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? Well, what we're about to look at solves that problem with a pretty decent amount of memory for holding the songs as well. It's called the Bakey FG08. Comes to us from Banggood. And uh, of course, check the show notes for a buying link that'll take you over. Should have a coupon discount for you. You get it in black or silver. And all in all, it looks like a pretty decent little smartwatch. You got a 1.3 inch full edge to edge screen, um, Bluetooth 64 megabytes of RAM, but 256 uh, megabytes of storage for music. You got full touch T-Fit app, um, IP68 full waterproof capability. All these things are supported including heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, the standard stuff. It also has Bluetooth calling and the local music player in it which means it's got a speaker microphone all the circuitry through Bluetooth to connect to and make and receive phone calls of course you got a tether two different ways right uh, we talked about that tether to the T-Fit app and tether to your phone like you would an earbud in order to do those functions 1.3 inch IPS screen 250 milliamp hour battery gives you about seven days standby and Oh, three to seven days of use time, a couple of hours to charge it. Charge it every other day and you should be just fine. Okay, it is the FG08. Got to remember that. When we pop it out of here, you got a cover simulating a watch face on it right there. Um, what else? We got two buttons on the side, right? We've got removable combination TPU with a leather look on the outside and stitching. So a nice dressy appearance to it. I don't see the speaker here. Must be maybe right there. Looks like that could be the speaker. And there's a microphone hiding somewhere because it does all of that. Let's check in here. We've got a charging cable. Your standard, uh, four pin yeah four and you need four pin for the power and the data because you're going to be able to transfer your music right from your computer over into the watch 256 megabytes in terms of audio is what about three four albums something like that should be good for a run you're not going to put your entire library in this one, no, but it's really lightweight and thin. Pick out your favorite uh, tunes that you think you're going to want to listen to and change them out periodically. Simple as that. You also have a manual stuck in here that's in Chinese and English. And, whoa, tiny little thing. So we will hold it for you to freeze frame. There's the app QR code, but again, we recommend... You download it from the Google Play Store uh, directly, and I got the link in the show notes for you to do that. A uh, little bit more information. And then the uh, basic parameters or specs. And matters needing attention, probably the FAQs. Okay, so that's the manual. Let's charge it up and turn it on. So a quick press on the top bottom button. There we go. Power on, it says. And you rack up into a, a watch face to start with. we got a bunch of controls. All right, I'm only halfway charged, but it's enough to get the job done. Here we can turn on Bluetooth, it looks like, or it'll show when it's connected. There's a do not disturb mode. Here are, uh, wow, look at that, your different interface styles. I'm going to choose that one. We have round or linear. This is easier for me to work with when we go through the app drawer. That, uh, come back here. That was here. Then we've got brightness. There's full bright and there's total dim. So a good range. Dim is nice uh, for nighttime. It looks like five different ranges. We've got find your phone. We're not tethered yet. And look, here's earbuds so that you can tether a set of earbuds. True wireless stereo TWS buds directly to the watch with the music on it. No need to take your phone anywhere. 
overall settings where you've got brightness and about and here's the information fgo8 that you look for for tethering find the phone qr code reset all that's there in your basic um come back here your basic settings you notice it's jumping all over the place but all we're looking at so far is what you get when you swipe down these controls and that's the current time because i haven't tethered yet scrolling up gets us to the app drawer we'll look at that come back here this way will take us it looks like to temperature uh, once we set that up in the app last night's sleep time heart rate your step count and messages pushed from your phone and then back to the watch face and i bet you we circle around this way so that's the layout of the watch and how it works and when we're on the watch face press and hold we can change wow that's an interesting one look at the fine detail high resolution in that screen heart rates down there that step count is that brightness there weather perhaps anyway press and hold I get it just right we go to another face there aren't a whole lot of them wow look at that one spacey Woo and I think we're back again to the beginning so to tether this thing we have to download the tfit app from the Google Play Store that's what we're looking at right here shows you a little bit of the pages that you're going to get into when we open it um, and you get it all set up and get started it's going to go into these uh, binding instructions here that says you want to make sure you have the screen on hit search and boy it just popped it right up there so we are connecting to the FG08 pairing request and we want to pair and connect and sure we'll allow contacts and pair remember it does Bluetooth calling so it's good to set up your contacts if you want it to do that and it says now that it's connected and it's about 212 well it hasn't adjusted the time yet but let's come back out of here oh there you go synchronizing data we'll wait for that to happen of course there is no data yet to put into it there we go time is updated we are matched up and here we are we don't need to add a device we've done the synchronizing we could shake for a selfie band function settings I can uh, have it so you twist your wrist to see the time it should light up sedentary reminders and drink water reminders are selectable on this one you've got message reminders pushed smart alarms you can set up a dial push and this is where I guess it's going to go off and show you different dials that you could add to the watch so we showed you the basic ones what would you like you want to try that fancy colorful one there let's select that one and you notice it's partly translated but not completely it's a simple style we're going to uh, transfer it over there it vibrated it says it's pushing and now it's going to take a while to transfer okay we're just about there 97 8 9 100 and there's our new dial it's complete what do I got to do push a button no oh, there we go Wow okay now it's in 24 hour time so let's see if we can change that to 12 hour time I uh, come back here to the dial center that was the dial push you got your address book you can search device this is all under device here um, if I add device what happens just shows we're connected okay my data is where you set up your personal data um, your target data for your number of steps and so forth my device is right here information about it get version info I'm not seeing where we can set the um, 12 or 24 hour or uh, metric Imperial there's your health page the basic information including sleep blood oxygen blood pressure and look at that you can start the uh, measurements directly from the app too you've got picture saved to album oh that was an instant screenshot it looks like you can add a plan in here wow quite a few different things in this overall app sport the different uh, activity you can hit go and do your sporting activity there 
back to device again, and then my data. So that's pretty much it for the app. Let's see if we can put some music on it and check out how it sounds. Ha <laughs> ha, I found it. Personal data, of course it would fit there, right? Time, down here. We want to change it to 12 hour time. Hit OK. And there you go. Rah. Oh, you're not going to believe this, guys. Can you see the reflection in that? The whole back is sealed in plastic. Yeah. I'll put a flashlight on my mouth and show you. I got to somehow get into here and rip that plastic off of here. Holy cow, never seen anything like this. There. Now, <laughs> now I can transfer the music over. It wasn't charging anything. It was weird. Be careful, you got a big complete cover of plastic on this watch when you get it. Okay, now we got it. I got some music in here. Uh, it's easy. You just connect it like a thumb drive and uh, you're there. You got your step count. We didn't actually go through the app drawer. Heart rate. Oh, I should put it on for that. We got to do heart rate. We've got blood pressure as well and blood oxygen. Just easy to use band. It's really an attractive one too. So it can be used uh, as a dress band, but because of the rubberized underneath surface, you have the ability to um, sweat on it and it won't be too bad. Tap here, you get an animated graphic and it's going to read the uh, heart rate using the green diode technology in the back, like most of these do. Taking a little while. Okay. There you go, 85 for heart rate, 86, blood pressure is here. And again, it's going to do systolic over diastolic. And again, the disclaimer we put on every one of these, these are not calibrated medical devices, so use the information you get with a grain of salt. It's best if you check it against your calibrated blood pressure cuff and uh, your heart rate and blood oxygen. Um, 116 over 81, possibly. It's a little low from what I'm used to, uh, so it may need adjusting. There wasn't a compensation adjustment in the... Uh, Oh, I am blood pressure again. I thought I went into blood oxygen. We want that. In the app, there isn't a way to adjust to what your normal blood pressure is to get it a deviation from that. So be extra careful if you rely on the blood pressure for anything more than just uh, entertainment on this one. Now it's doing blood oxygen. And after I get a number, I want to take a look at the diodes in the back. As we know, the ones that use the, uh, there we go, 95, 98, 95, 98. Okay, it's oscillating. The ones that use a red diode are more accurate, but the green one is okay. It gives you a good estimate. This is not going to be like really spot on. There, it vibrated, and that's the final reading. But it should give you in the ballpark, at least let you know if you've got any problems. Last night's sleep time, your overall sport area now. you got run, walk, and swim. Totally waterproof watch. Basketball, skipping, badminton. And if we take one of these, let's say a walk, it gives us a countdown and then fires into it. You get step count. That is time, folks, I think. No, time's down there. Oh my goodness. This is my ideal workout. I'm sitting here talking to you guys and I'm just kicking off the steps. Look at that. Yeah, this is why it's always valuable to watch reviews of watches, especially the ones that are in-depth like this, because you get to see everything. I'm not going to comment on it. You saw it. I saw it. That's what we got. Okay, we are finally up to music. Let's come back to that. We're going to do weather. It shows you in centigrade. I haven't found a way to change it to Fahrenheit, although we did see the units change and uh, some of the other changing in the app, but it appears to be fair uh, centigrade here. You've got a simple stopwatch in this one that calculates it down to hundredths of a second. Uh, you can pause it, come back into it, and it resets itself. Messaging, um, of course, is messages uh, pushed from your phone. Your overall settings shut down. Now you get into the actual phone stuff. You can make a call using the dial pad here. When you've tethered it to the phone, I didn't tether it to that level. I've tethered to the app, but not to the phone like you would um, 
if if you were hooking up earbuds or something. But you would get the, the dial, you'd get your contacts, and this would be your phone records that are on your phone over here to the watch. So what's the quality of a call? Well, we're going to check that now when we go into the music player because you're using the basic same uh, circuitry, the microphone or the speaker and all of that. So we're entering music, and it got a couple of Japanese songs in here. You hear that? We can adjust the volume, turn it way down, turn it up pretty decent. Skip through it. Then I put a folder of songs in here. Some Greek music. Good bass overall for a little watch. Sound familiar? Okay, can't play too much of this because Google will start to get annoyed that I'm using copyrighted music. But uh, that's what you get when you play the music on here. And like I said, you got 256 um, megabytes of storage space. This took up less than a quarter for putting an entire album in there. So plenty of space to put the music that you like in here. Okay, that's about it for uh, the overall watch. Um, Bluetooth calling, like I said, would work uh, well on this as, as well. And we've looked at all the other features. So by way of review, it's a uh, Bakey product called the FG08 Bluetooth calling, 1.3 inch, heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure, all monitored on this one, and um, music player as well, with the ability to tether to earbuds separately from your phone. Check the show notes for the buying link and a discount coupon from Banggood, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.